Hi, I'm Don Grace with Safeway Water, here with our new Safeway Water Valve to show you how to program our valve for a softener application. Let's start by identifying the programming buttons on the valve. Set Clock allows you access to set the time of day on the valve. Next advances to the next option on the menu while it's at the main menu or in a sub-menu. Up arrow and down arrow is used for adjusting the setting while in a program edit menu. Regen is used to initiate the regeneration cycle, but is also used to go back in a submenu if you missed, need to review, or to change a setting. Let's get started by setting the clock. With the valve plugged in, press and hold the set clock button. The hour will be flashing now. Use the up or down arrow to adjust the hour setting. Keep in mind, you will need to go past 12 o'clock to change from p.m. to a.m. With the hour set, press next to advance to the minutes. Again, using the up or down arrows to make time adjustments. With the minutes set, simply press the next button again to exit out of the edit mode. Your time of day is now set. Now we can tell the valve what it's going to do for the rest of its life. Press and hold the next and down arrows at the same time to enter the valve operation edit mode. The first screen you'll see has the word set in the upper left corner with softening flashing. Since we're going to set this valve for a softener system, we'll leave this setting alone, but pressing the down arrow will allow you to make this a filter valve. Pressing next will allow you to edit the brine refill mode. You have two options. Pre, meaning two hours before the set regeneration time, the brine tank will start to fill, or post, meaning the brine tank will immediately refill once the regeneration cycle is complete. It's your choice. I'm going to leave it set on the factory setting pre. Press next again to advance to the P-code settings. P-code tells the valve how long to run each cycle. Please refer to the manual for a complete list of codes, but generally we suggest P5 for city water and P23 for a longer backwash when setting the system up for a well water system. Use either up or down arrow to adjust the P-code setting. Once you have set your P-codes, press next. This will allow us to edit the system's total capacity in grains. The total capacity of the resin bed will vary on the size of the resin bed, the type of resin, and the salt settings used. So be sure you're aware of those capacities and set accordingly. Use the up or down arrow to adjust the settings. With your capacity set, you should now know the amount of salt you're going to use for regeneration. Press next to enter the regen pound setting. Here's where you'll enter the total number of pounds of salt you'll use for regeneration, and not just the pounds per cubic foot. For example, if you have a one cubic foot system at 27,000 grains capacity, you would generally set that for a nine pound setting. Now, if you had a one and a half cubic foot system and wanted to set the system up for nine pounds per cubic foot, you would simply multiply nine times 1.5 or set the total salt for regeneration to 13.5 pounds. Press next and using the up and down arrows, we can scroll through the three different options. Off. This means the valve will regenerate on the day override schedule, like a time clock. Auto will regenerate based on the automatic reserve capacity calculations, or gallons will cause the valve to demand a regeneration based only on the number of gallons used. Auto is the standard setting. With the demand operation set, we can press next to regen set time. This is where we'll tell the valve when to initiate the regeneration. Using the up down arrows, the three options are normal, this will initiate the regenerate cycle, at the designated time. On zero sends the system into an immediate regeneration when the capacity reaches zero or normal plus on zero. This will cause the valve to regenerate at the preset time as normal unless the reserve capacity reaches zero. If the gallon reserve reaches zero it will wait until it detects zero water flow for 10 minutes and then initiate an immediate regeneration. Standard setting would be normal. You can review the settings by using the Regen button to back through the settings or simply press Next to exit. Now we can set the water conditions and regeneration time schedule. With the screen showing the current time, press and hold the Next and the Up arrow together for about 3 to 5 seconds, bringing up the hardness setting. Adjust the grains per gallon using the Up or Down arrow and press Next to move on to the next setting, Regen Day. Regen Day is an override function basically forces the system to regenerate at least one time within the days allotted. In other words, if we were to set the regen day to 10, the valve would initiate a regeneration cycle every 10 days if the capacity of the system has not dropped below the reserve minimum during that period. Almost finished. 
We now need to set the time of day for regeneration. Press next to advance to set time regen. 2 a.m. is the default setting and most common, but if you need to change that time, simply use up or down arrow to adjust the hour setting. Press next to advance to the minute settings. To review your settings, use regen button to scroll backwards or simply press next to exit the edit menu. That's all it takes to program our Safeway water valve. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 855-999-7233. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.